Okay, in this question we have two coils, coil 1 and coil 2. Coil 1 is connected to a battery, coil 2 to, to an ammeter. When the switch in coil 1 is closed, it will produce a magnetic field around coil 1 because that's what happens when current flows around a wire, it produces a magnetic field. This magnetic field will go through coil 2, producing a change in the flux. Now, because there's a change in flux according to Faraday's law, an EMF will be in induced, which is why there's a current flowing in coil 2 um, because of the rate of change of flux. Now once that circuit's been on for some time, there is no more EMF induced as you can see in picture C. You can see here, there's no EMF induced because there is no change in flux. Even though the flux through coil 2 is really uh, large and strong, it doesn't matter, there's no change in flux. Once you open the switch again, the magnetic field around coil 1 is going to start to decrease because there's no more current going in it. So now what's going to happen is the, there's going to be another EMF induced here because now this time is caused by the rate of decrease in the magnetic flux in coil 2. So as you can see they're in opposite directions. So in the first direction what's going to happen is the current is going to be produced to oppose the increase. So in, the, in B the current will flow in this direction. To try to oppose the change in the flux which is the increase so it's trying to oppose it by having a current going in the opposite direction that's Lenz's law in D however because now the flux is decreasing you, and it wants to avoid the decrease it want to oppose the decrease it's going to flow in this direction similar to in coil 1 to oppose that decrease also the coils will experience this force as well in the first one because um, there's an increase in flux and it's trying to avoid that increase in flux. The two coils will experience forces in opposite directions so as if they're trying to oppose each other, get away from each other to reduce the flux. While in situation D, because the flux is decreasing and it, was, it wants to avoid the decrease in flux, there will be four, two forces equal and opposite on the coils pulling them closer together.